We have been talking about this so much lately, artificial intelligence or AI, one of the biggest debates going on right now. But now there's a local professor hoping to use the data-driven tool to detect domestic violence earlier than ever. NBC Bears' Valina Jones lays it out for us. AI has been described as revolutionary with a promise to do everything from curing cancer to changing how we drive. Now UC Berkeley studies suggest the tech may actually be able to help predict if a patient is being abused by their partner. This is actually an example of machine learning being used for things that humans don't do very well right now. Using data from past patients involved in abusive relationships, assistant UC Berkeley professor Irene Chin says her team has created an algorithm that identifies potential high-risk victims using radiology reports and medical records. The result, an artificial intelligence tool that may be able to flag a potential victim years before the most visible signs of domestic violence. Maybe there's a clinical history of a lot of risk factors, like you get into a lot of accidents or you have substance abuse or you have mental health issues that all could put you at higher risk for domestic violence or the pattern of your injuries as seen from your x-rays. Jensen's algorithm has already been successfully tested at UCSF Hospital. The goal is to give doctors and advocates a tool that can help them identify and help victims sooner. Learning from those types of patients, we can better understand the pattern Patterns of how domestic violence victims uh, manifest in the healthcare system. Next Door Solutions to Domestic Violence in San Jose works to get abuse survivors help. While they think the technology could be helpful, manager Erica Villa worries the data could provide false positives and have unintended consequences. My worry is using this um, technology to identify demographics, identify ethnic groups, and Will that then create a stereotype um, to identify victims of domestic violence? Providing the resource to everyone so that when they're ready to seek help, they know where to go. It's questions Chen says she's thought about and is attempting to address. She admits no technology is perfect, but hopes the tech can offer one more tool to save lives. What my research focuses on is how can we make sure that AI is used to improve healthcare for everyone. In Berkeley, Valina Jones, NBC Bay Area News.